Hey everyone, today we're going to go ahead and do a new assignment. It's pretty simple. And I, I want to look at a couple of different things. I want to look at uh, how to uh, do uh, A tags, do a little bit more with uh, uh, hyperlinks, anchor tags are called. And a little bit more with images. I want to show you guys some cool stuff you can do with CSS. So this is the stuff that you should have in your assignment. So if you go into the content, right, the latest assignment is called A tag attributes. So I've got uh, these are the things that you should have in your uh, HTML. You should have a doc type, uh, HTML tags, head, title, link to your CSS, a body, three different A tags. Give two of the tags a target a value, attribute value of blank, and give one of them just no target attribute, and at least one image. And if you're using uh, CodePen, then you can uh, you can skip steps one through six because that does it for you. If you're doing Editty, a lot of the stuff is done for you already. So the only thing you'd really have to do is like the, the, st the stuff down here. But I'll do, I'll do both today if I have time. So, yeah, I got 45 minutes. So I'll do it in CodePen first. So we go to codepen.io. I'm gonna start, create a new pen. I'm signed in, I think. Give it a title, I'm gonna call this Anchor tags. So here's the HTML and code pen. Remember, you don't have to put in the head and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it does that all that for you. Right? So um, CSS and JavaScript we're not using today, so we don't need to worry about JavaScript. CSS we'll work with today, but not but not the uh, not the JavaScript. So we're going to put in three anchor tags. I'm just going to put in. Uh, just the default stuff right now. Right. So right now I have three anchor tags. Now down here in my preview, there's n nothing that's going to show up because I haven't put anything in here. Right? I haven't linked to anything yet. Alright, so down here I'm linked to three different websites. I'll do uh, Tom's Hardware. Inside of the Tom's hardware. Now you see my link shows up in my preview over here. And I'll go to, uh, I don't know, uh, Amazon. And then I will go to. Um, NewYorkTimes.com. So here we are. Now I have three links. I'm gonna click on them, make sure they work. All right, that all works. Amazon didn't want to work. New York Times, that one doesn't work. All right, well, let's try something different. All right. Now, two of the tags we have to put in a target attribute of blank. So let's do it with these two down here. Target equals underscore blank. So let's try that now. Hey, that works. Nope, only 18 hours left on Prime Day. So what a target underscore does, as you saw, if I click on it again, it opens up my link in another tab. And usually this is the way I like to do all my links. Oops, you gotta put the underscore in there. So click that. All right. Now the first, I said all right. All right is my verbal crutch, if you haven't noticed. Tom's hardware, I didn't put um, I didn't put a uh, target underscore equal blank attribute and value. So it opens up in the same browser window that we're in, in which case this is the preview that we're talking about. <coughs> All right, save it. Good idea to save every once in a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then let's put in an image. Alright, 
what kind of picture do I want to put in? No, let's do, I don't know, what should we put in? Um, uh, monitor I'm thinking about getting. Do, 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 do. Oh, not that one. This one. All right, so here I'm going to put in our URL. I'm going to put an alt time equals um, move the video tech 34 inch oops, gaming monitor. Again, this is what we have. And now you notice that in our um, all of our content here, it's all since it all fits inside the screen. And remember, all these tag, a tags and image tags, they uh, they'll all flow next to each other, right? Unless we get there are inline style, right? Or inline uh, elements. So unless we say otherwise, they will go uh, above each other, right? I mean, right next to each other until they don't fit. So this is what, this is all that we technically need for our <coughs> for our HTML. Now we're gonna give it some style here, first of all. All right. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do, again, you don't have to do it this way. There are other ways you can. Give your stuff some style. Indent all the stuff. First thing I'm gonna do is make a div. Alright. Everything centered. Not that uh, this is a good it's a good start. Now on the assignment, you'll see that there's uh, two things, uh two uh Two links I gave you. One is starting hyperlinks with uh, styling hyperlinks with CSS. The other one is styling images with CSS. I'm going to do the hyperlinks first. Now this is W3 Schools. There's other places you can go to, but this is the one I'm going to use today. So let's take a look. Uh, they've got a uh, got normal text link that we've been using, a green text link, a link button where you hover over it and it highlights. All right. And then we've got over here a link button where it kind of changes color a little bit. You can kind of see the kind of the orange red color to a lighter to a darker red color when you hover over it. <laughs> so this is an example. If all you want is your uh, text, is your uh, hyperlinks to be just a hot pink, you could do it like this. This is what it would look like. Oh, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going to go for one of the cooler things, like one of these buttons over here. Now over here, all right, let's try this one. The nice thing about W3 Schools is it has a, um, a try it yourself section over here. All right, we'll take a look at it. We have A, which is, a, and then we have a colon link It'll be red. Visited is green. Right? Hover over is going to be hot pink. Active, all right, active link, it's blue. So if I click it, all right, it links to this thing over here. But these are called like pseudo classes. And what you can do is, if you, a link you haven't been to before, all right. Uh, a pseudo classes are just like a kind of like a subset of uh, of a class. So like here we're talking about when we say like an a tag is just like an anchor tag, you know, a, a, a hyperlink. A pseudo class is essentially like a a way to like a subset like all a tags that are um, unvisited links, right? We we'll use this pseudo class. We know it's a pseudo class because it's got this colon over here. All of our visited links will have this green color. We've already been here, right? So that's why it's showing up green. When we hover over it, this thing over here, when we hover over it, it goes hot pink. 
If an active link, this is a link that we've selected, all right, when we click on it, you see when I click on it for a second, it turned blue. All right, so that's one thing we can do. That's cool. All right. I'm not going to use that one, but that's a good, you could do that, try that yourself. In which case, all you really have to do is copy and paste that stuff. And then maybe if you want to do it, uh, your, change it yourself, however you like, you can do it. Uh, you know, mess around with some different properties, the colors or the text or the font, all this kind of stuff. Uh, where are we? All right, let's go back over here. And then we've got text decoration. You can mess around. Again, all you can try all these things or just a couple of things, but give me try at least two. Try at least like one or two things at the very least. We've so got text decoration. You could try out. Mess around with that. So when you hover over it, it, uh, it, it there's a line underneath it, like a link by itself, text decoration is none. A visited link, also none. Text decoration, underline, so when we hover over it, it goes underline. Or if it's a link, when we click it, it's kind of hard to see, but when we click it, <laughs> it, it uh, uh, there's an underline underneath it. So that's another thing we can try, something like that. Background color, right? You could do a try out a link button. I'm going to try out a link button. Let's take a look. So this is a link. If we take a look at our CSS over here, all right, we've got two things we're worried about. Uh, here they use two different pseudo classes in one in one uh, line of code over here. All right, so we've got. Uh, our, if it's a link, a link we haven't been to before, it will style it like this, or if it's a link that we, vi that we visited, it will style it like this. Either one, right, it will look like this. Then the last thing we do is when we hover over it or when we click it, it's going to change the background color to red from this kind of orangey color, kind of almost red color, to this red color. So when we hover over it, it turns red, or when we click it, it turns red. So we can try this. I'm going to steal this code over here. Copy. Go to my code pen over here. Now you look over here, see? All my links are styled like that. Let's take a look at what we did there, right? So all we did was copy and paste some stuff. That's pretty easy. But let's look at the actual code. So for our links that are A tags that are uh, that we've never visited before or that we have visited before, either one of them will look the same. The background color is going to be like this kind of a reddish orange color. The color of the text is going to be white. The padding is going to be uh, 14 pixels. Uh, 14 pixels on the uh, left and right and a 25 on the top and bottom. 14 on the left and right, 20, uh, 25 on the top and bottom? Or is that the way around? I always forget. Text align is center, text decoration is none, display is inline block. So text decoration, no underline. We could try some other things, other things like a font family maybe. Of, um, I don't know, Garamond or something. Try that. Mm, it's okay. Let's do, I don't know, font family of Tahoma. That's fine. So anyway, I'm gonna put in all right. I'm gonna put this thing in a separate div. Did it for us. All right, so here we've got our picture of our gaming monitor, and down here we've got our three hyperlinks. So that's cool. Now you could change these colors over here. Instead of this, like say you just want to play this, I don't know, like blue or something. Now our buttons are blue, right? And when we hover over them, 
Yeah. Let's do, let's put, change the padding here. See how that, let's do a 25 by 25. See how that makes it look. All right. 14. All right, so 14 is top and bottom. <laughs> All right, that's one way, one way, and so the first number is top and bottom. I like that. All right, I like it. It's 14, a little bit better. Now, if you want to, you could like mess around with things, right? Looks a little weird. <laughs> All right, remember it goes, it goes. Uh, what was it? Left, right, bottom. Let's we'll see the left. So the top and the right. All right, are 14 pixels. You can see that because they don't have as much space on top. And the left and the bottom are 25. All right, so the left and the bottom are 25. So it goes top, right, left, bottom. And when you do your padding and your uh, and your, uh, oh, what's the other, uh, padding and, what's the stuff on the outside, the margin. I couldn't remember the word for a second. Yeah. So that's good. Now let's style our image. <laughs> Styling images. So there's lots of different things we can mess around with. You can see there's the border radius over here. Uh, we can make it uh, kind of uh, circular or oval. We could give it a thumbnail image. A thumbnail image is a link. That's one thing we haven't done. We haven't turned an image into a link. Maybe we could try that. Responsive images. This one, the responsive image. You see how the, set the picture changes size based off how big the browser is? That's, a, that's an example of a responsive image. Responsive imagery is really important nowadays because you're talking about uh, someone might be viewing um, uh, the content on a, on a phone or an iPad or a tablet or a, a, you know, a big 34-inch gaming monitor like that I was looking at. So those kind of things like uh, matter as far as like, what the images look like. So you need to make sure that you're uh, well not make sure, need to need to make sure it depends really. But a lot of times you're going to want to make sure that your content uh, is responsive so that it changes the size based off of whatever the screen uh, the, the viewer the, the user is is using. So here, for example, right for their image, they have the max width is 100 percent and the height is automatically adjusted. You can center an image. So this is how you center an image. Again, most of the stuff you can just um, you can just uh, copy and paste. You can make it a Polaroid. Let's do this one over here. This guy's kind of cool. Again, if you don't know what all this stuff does, that's fine. All right, you can just copy and paste it and see, and then mess around with some stuff and see how what changes. That's I, I it's perfectly okay with me. All right. So I'm gonna take this thing over here. Let's do the try. Let's go to the try it yourself thing. I'm gonna do the Polaroid. Try it yourself. <clears throat> let's still look at what they did. All right, over here they have their CSS. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna just copy this over right here. I'm gonna go to my project. Now I don't have any divs that have a Polaroid. Uh, class or, or a container class. So this, what this does, div.polaroid, if it's a div that has a Polaroid class, this is how we'll style it. If it's a div that has a container class, this is how we do it over here. All right, let's take a look at the actual try it out editor over here. I uh, can close this one, we get done with that one. And uh, done with that one. All right, so let's, let's start closing the links we don't need. So this is the the the, uh, the CSS that we just copied and pasted. Now we actually have to worry about the the div and all that kind of stuff. All right. So here they have two images. We're only going to do one image. We're going to have a div with a class of Polaroid, and inside of it, we're going to have another div that has the text. 
So let's do, let's go to our code over here. So this div that we put our image in, it's going to have a, a class of Polaroid, right? So you see how it gave it that uh, size over here. We're going to change the size over here. We'll change it to make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to put another div underneath it. A div inside of a div. Let me just backspace this. All right. Div. All right. And that's going to be, you have a class of container. This and this is going to be um, IOTech 34 inch gaming monitor. Dun, 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 dun. No, I don't think I did that right. Let me go look because this doesn't look right. Let's put it inside of a paragraph. Yeah, all right, there it's right. Put it inside of a paragraph, our text. Because I think if we look at our CSS, all right, that down this fine. Let's put p tag around here. Now let's go over here. This image, I'm gonna change the size of it. I'm gonna give a, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna call it dot uh, biotech, right? Make up a class called biotech. All right. Uh, width is going to be, I don't know, uh, 500 pixels and the height is 500 pixels. And my image, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to give it a class of uh, biotech. Border. I'm gonna give it a one pixel solid black border. <laughs> All right, trying things. All right, let's give it a. Oops, I gotta put it in my semicolon here at the end. Let's give it a margin of I don't know 25 pixels. And some padding of 25 pixels. A little space around here. All right, uh, let's give the Polaroid a width, sort of a width of 80%. Let's give it a width of, I don't know, uh, 600 pixels. All right, it's getting there. Oh, I would like to have it centered. I don't do I need this anymore? Okay. Again, I'm just trying some things out. Hmm, maybe I do want to center. All my divs. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. Trying some things out. I want to, let me try that other thing. Let's see if I can get it my image centered. All right, let's copy all this stuff over here. This is, they give you the, uh, the, the CSS for displaying it. I already got the image uh, selector done already. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to my code pen. And go to my image thing. And actually I put it in biotech, but that's fine. That didn't look good. All right, I'm do undo that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I want to center the div. That's what I really want. See, I'm doing what you should be doing. I don't know how to do something. Just uh, Google it. Use margin auto. Let's try that. So I'm gonna do that to all my div, all right? There we go, all right, that's not bad, all right. I'm gonna get rid of this border here. Don't know about that. Text align center. So I center my um, my links over here. Okay, this is more of what I'm looking for. All right, now I'm I'm getting to where I want to go. So let's take a look at what I did here. All right, it seems like a lot, but a lot of this stuff I I just copied and pasted, so it's not that big of a deal. So really, I made a uh, first thing I did. I, well, first thing I did is I did, I did my hyperlinks. Right, I have three hyperlinks. Two of them I made a target of underscore blank. So that will open up, like the Amazon and the New York Times, they will open up in a new tab. The Tom's Hardware, I didn't. So it's gonna open up in the same window. Uh, and then, I've, then I put in an image. I gave it some alt text, so it'll describe what it's going on in here. Uh, let me see, I've got, uh, then I put each of those things, uh, I went to, you know, the, to the links, I uh, tried out some different things as far as styling stuff, so I looked, looked at different things. Again, most of the stuff I just copied and pasted, and then I messed around with the values to get it what I wanted it to be. And if I didn't know something, I just Googled it. So I wanted to, to make my stuff uh, a, um, look kind of like a Polaroid, where it's got this cool stuff, where it's got a... Um, it's a box shadow over here. Again, you don't need to know what all these things are. We're going to go into more into box shadow later. Right? But you see, like, around the edges, it's kind of like this shadow effect. And then it uses RGBA, which I think I've mentioned once before, which is basically uh, red, green, blue. And then over here, A is, the, like, the transparency. So it kind of get, you can kind of, like, see through it a little bit. The background, it's got some margin and width. Again, we changed the width from 80% to a certain size because we wanted uh, our size to be um, uh, pretty static as far as that goes. Again, you might want to try out something different, which is perfectly okay. Then, uh, and well, so we uh, tried out some different things with our hyperlinks, right? With the hyperlinks, we basically just, uh, we used the, um, this uh, article over here, we went down to the link buttons thing. We copied some copied the, some stuff, pasted it in our CSS, and then we changed a couple of things. And really that's all we did as far as that goes. You just have to make sure that in your code, for example, if you used to give something a class, like here we made up a class for our image called Biotech, right? Because that's the, the brand name of the monitor that I was looking at. So we changed like the width and the height, we gave it a border, a little bit of margin. So we wanted to change the size to a, a certain size. Now this 
500 by 500 is maybe not the best. Maybe let's make this one, I don't know, 300, right? It's a little bit squished. I don't know. 350. Yeah, it's getting there. I could have just, you know, done the percentages as far as like the actual image size goes, but this is fine just the way it is. And, you know, we mess around some things. I, you know, changed the size of the div. So if you, if you want your stuff things centered and looking nice, this is how you would do that. Again, I just Googled that up. So try out some different things. At the bare minimum, what I need is you to have your three hyperlinks, all right, and an image and style them however you like using the using the uh, the sources that I gave you. Right. So try out at least one thing. You don't have to do the same thing I did. You can do totally different things. There's lots of different options on these uh, W3 schools websites. And again, you don't even have to use W3 schools. You can try out different things. And the nice thing about it is this is not due till next next Friday, so you got a long time to work on this. And I just want you to mess around with things and see what it is that you like. See what changing values does. You know how does it uh, how does it affect um, what uh, the result on your page. You can, the nice thing about the 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 code pen is the stuff shows up automatically. So I want to show you how to do the exact same thing. If you want to do it in Edity, if you want to do that as well, all right, that's fine. So. Let's make up a new blank project. I'm not going to go over all the coding. I'm not just going to copy and paste a bunch of stuff, but you get the idea. It should look pretty much the same. All right, let's open up my thing. All right, all right I'm going to give it a title. Whoops. I'm going to rename this to, I'm going to call this anchor tags. Go back over here, open up the workspace. Okay. Great. I can close this. I don't need the JavaScript. I'm going to not call it empty project. I'm going to call this anchor tags. I don't need this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the stuff I already did in my anchor tag stuff over here. So I'm gonna take all this over here, copy this, go to my uh, this thing over here, paste it. Now one thing is I'm gonna do that. Sure, this stuff lines up correctly. All right, that looks good. Now let's, let's preview it. Right, so this is what it looks like right now. But again, I haven't put in my CSS. So let's go to back to code pen. Do the stuff I did already. Let's copy my CSS and hopefully if I did it correctly, it should work. Let's try this thing over here. Make sure you don't see any errors or anything. That's fine. Let's see if it's saving. Alright, save. Let's preview it now. Let's see what it looks like now. This is the way it's supposed to look, see? So either one you'd want to do, uh, say I'm done with this project, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and file, publish the project, just publish the project, and you can turn this in. You would turn, copy this link here, turn that in. If you want to do it straight from CodePen, that's fine too, which uh, just save it. And then click the share button over here, All right, copy the link. And that one worked fine too. Either one of those things you can turn in. Uh, or like I said, if you want to do it in GitHub too, you can do it in GitHub as well. So uh, do it the traditional way. I'll take a code pad, I'll take an editing, I'll take a GitHub page, 
any of those things will work for me. So I hope this helped you guys out today. Again, I know it seems complicated, but uh, we're not going to do too much over the next like, you know, week and a half. So we should have plenty of time to work on this. I want to help out individual people, give you guys a lot of time. I know I t tend to talk too much and you guys probably get bored, but you know I appreciate you guys sticking with it. And you know, we'll uh, give it our best shot. That's really all I'm, all I'm asking for. My main thing is, is that if you're, as long as you're putting in an effort, you will pass the class. I promise you. Even if all your stuff doesn't work the way you like you want it to, it doesn't maybe not, <laughs> not. You know, I don't expect perfection. Like you do this stuff. Is the, like, I mean, I uh, you see, I what I really expect you to do is to try things and make an effort and see what you can create. And then if things don't work out, that's fine. But, you know, try again. Just don't get too frustrated. And if things seem hard, that's okay. Just, you know, take it, not, no, not, go scroll it down. Let's scroll it down. Tone it down. I don't know, dial it down. Maybe dial it down is the word I'm trying to say. Dial it down a little bit, you know, don't, maybe don't get too fancy. Or just take it one thing at a time. And if you're really frustrated, that's when you ask for that extra help. So uh, I will see you guys uh, at 1016. Every day, Monday through Friday, unless it's a holiday, I'll see you guys in a little bit.